Hey, hi. We're out in my art studio today, and um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun for a little change of scenery. But um, anyway, uh, what I really wanted to talk to you guys about is um, William Samuel's book called The Child Within Us Lives. That was the book that helped me really helped me. I would say without that book, I don't know if I would have ever uh, discovered this joyful, uninhibited, free-spirited, loving, lovely, childlike soul of myself. And it's real, and it's authentic, and it's, you know, it's the child we were before we even came into this world. It's the soul of ourself. It's the divine, uh, unconditioned uh, heart of ourself. Um, it's that part of ourself that in non-duality they are always, you know, uh, it's about uh, finding the unconditioned mind. But the unconditioned mind is really the soul of ourself. It's the, um, it's the self we were before we came to this world and, and got clobbered by this world in a way, and, um, well, in a lot of ways, but uh, uh, this child, Bill calls it the child because it's a very, uh, it's a lovely word for it. Um, it's it's innocent, it's pure, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's actually, it's actually who you were from the beginning of time it's your soul it's your original original self it's your it's your uh, divine blueprint and each one of us has a uh, a special unique holy divine spirit of ourself and that spirit is connected to um, the infinite mind of the presence of life this this life that we're living right here and right now is divine and um, this this purity of heart this lovely soul of ourself uh, it gets um, it gets lost uh, pushed down uh, uh, the world doesn't doesn't or the world, I should say, society, uh, uh, education, um, the system, uh, all the rules and the dogma and the indoctrination, um, it doesn't want us to discover this beautiful self of ourself, this, this unbound, fearless, independent, confident self of ourself. It's a self that is uh, connected to, uh, to me, it feels like it's connected to the divine intelligence. Sometimes I find myself knowing things that certainly I never studied, but uh, I recognize the truth and the light and things, and I recognize what, what the world is beyond education and beyond what we've been told. And that's the child of me, and that's the child you are, too. And your child, the one you are, will recognize things in your own way, in your own beautiful, uh, insightful knowing through self-discovery. It's self-discovery. It truly is. The beauty is, is there's nothing we need to get rid of. It's, it's a discovery, an uncovering of this uh, purity, this, this guileless innocence. But this guileless innocence is somehow it, it knows what it's doing. It, it, it knows who it is. It's like when I rediscovered this little girl that I used to be, the freedom and the joy of that little girl I used to be, when I rediscovered it, I realized the purpose of having to go through this world that wasn't that easy. And and uh, I, I pushed that little girl away. I didn't even realize that I was doing it. Uh, education makes us do that. Uh, 
uh, society tells us always, oh, you know, uh, you have to be educated and you have to learn and you have to um, conform, conform, conform. And there's that little rebel in us that doesn't want to conform. It doesn't want to be regimented and following the rules and staying in line. And But society wants us to do that and education tries to control that beautiful, beautiful Holy Spirit we are. And um, so what happened was I read that book, The Child Within Us Lives, years ago. And when I first read it, I, I thought, well, what is this really all about? Why would he be veering away so much from non-duality and, and uh, all that sort of instruction about uh, enlightenment that had sort of a um, uh, there it was like there were rules to it there were rules you know you kind of thought you knew how to get there and you did what they what the rules said to do and the child allowed me to break free break free from um this uh even my desire, uh, or, or not desire, even my uh, uh, concepts of what I thought enlightenment was. And the child, when I discovered this, I went, wait, wait, this child, what is he talking about? And then, oh my gosh, as it began to, as I read the book, what happens is, it, it, it's kind of a magical book. Um, it's quite mystical. As I read the book, I began to understand more and more about what he was saying. And with every reading of the book, I understood even more. And it was like I became transformed by simply reading that book and not even realizing that it had changed me in a beautiful way, in a truly Un, un, unlocking, unlocking my heart again, and and opening my joyful, the joyful, the joyful spirit of this little girl that I used to be. She came back to me, and it was through that book, *The Child Within Us Lives*, that that I made this discovery. As I say. I'm not sure if I could have ever really found what I was looking for. And I don't mean to say that that's the only way anyone can find this truth. It's not. That's not. But for me, it was it was part of my journey that was essential, that that book came to me. And if there's any of you out there who feel lost or confused by your... Um, long years of study in uh, non-duality or uh, the sort of uh, uh, ideas based on uh, trying to find enlightenment. Um, for those of you who have feel like you still haven't found it or still don't really understand it, my heart is here, my soul is here, my spirit is here for you to tell you that that book, The Child Within Us Lives, that book really was the key for me. Um, but, but the beauty is, here's the beauty too, the beauty is that even though the key was in that book and it was a mystical, magical book, and I really feel like it is, um, the beauty is that what it actually does is it's not in the book. It's not in the words. It's in you. It's in you. It's always been in you. It is you. It's your heart. It's your soul. It's your spirit. It's yours, unique, unique, and, and just free, free to be who you are. You have the fearless, you find the fearless freedom to be yourself. And the self 
of us that is that is this childlike joy this holy spirit it's a beautiful self it is truly a beautiful self you'll know it when you find it and you'll recognize its beauty and you'll recognize it's you and you'll appreciate and love really how beautiful you are because you've been through the world and you had it knocked out of you almost but the light flickered still there in your heart and it was that little child and it comes back it comes back and it it blooms like a beautiful tree it lights like a candle it it begins to radiate and and I hear myself say sing again laugh again enjoy again dance again love again love the world again and I feel that this discovering this childlike joy that is ours, it is our divine gift, it is who we are. Discovering this childlike joy, one by one, one by one, each within our own self, this is how we're going to one day see a beautiful world, a sweet world, a peaceful world where nobody's dividing each other and governments aren't trying to control each other and and the system isn't trying to squelch your light. We're going to make it happen. You discover this. You find this childlike joy. And you'll see a new world around you. I know you will because I've seen a new world around me. And little by little, it'll spread. Anyway, read that book, Child Within Us Lives. It's on Amazon. And I, I know you'll love it. I know you'll be amazed. I know you'll be glad you did. Okay? All right. I love you all. Bye.